John, thank you. A tough game today for the Hokies, ladies and gentlemen. The pinstripe bowl wrapped up about an hour ago. Maryland rolled over Virginia Tech, winning 54 to 10. Now, our team is spread out covering every angle of this big game from today. WFXR News' is David DeGuzman is at Yankee Stadium where that game was played. Kelsey John Baptiste is in Blacksburg tonight with fan reaction. But first, we want to go to sports director Jermaine Farrell, who has highlights from today's game. Jermaine, good evening, but a tough game to watch. Yes, good evening, Kathleen. I don't know if you can call them highlights. You can call them more lowlights for Virginia Tech as the game didn't end the way they would hope as it was a tough one against the Maryland Terrapins. Now, Maryland, they opened up the scoring with a punt return for a touchdown, and Virginia Tech would fake a punt to get the lead, to cut that lead with that field goal. Terps uh, leading 7-3, but Maryland would score a pair of touchdowns to extend the lead to 21-3, and then late in the second quarter, Virginia Tech quarterback Connor Blumrick would score on a TD run to make it 21 to 10. Maryland still ahead. That was as close as the game would get in the LSU earlier. Now the Terps led over the Hokies 24 to 10 at halftime. Then in the second half, Maryland turned it on, outscoring the Hokies 30 to nothing, shutting them out in the second half to get the 54 to 10 win. Maryland ends the season with a 7 to 6 record. Virginia Tech ending their season with a 6 and 7 record. And with more on the game, here's WFXR Sports David Guzman from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, New York. Well, there may have been more Virginia Tech fans than Maryland fans here at Yankee Stadium, but the Terrapins clearly scored more points than the Hokies. Their 54 points were the most ever scored by a team in the short history of the Pinstripe Bowl. Meanwhile, for Virginia Tech, it's the worst loss that they've ever suffered in a bowl game in program history, ending J.C. Price's short run as interim head coach. Here's reaction from him after the game. I'm proud to be their coach. I'm proud of those guys. Um, you know, Maryland was a better team today, obviously. They were... Uh, Better coach, they played better, but that doesn't that doesn't stop <laughs> doesn't stop a person from caring about somebody because you lost a football game. And I care about those guys. They care about this program, and uh, the guys that, that are moving on will should always feel welcome to come back here anytime they want. And the guys that are coming back, we need obviously we need to go to work and uh, and be better than we were today. Plenty of history made by Maryland in this pinstripe bowl, including by quarterback Talia Tagovailoa, who tied the school record for most touchdowns in a single season. Meanwhile, for Virginia Tech, J.C. Price said after the game that a lot of the young guys have a bright future ahead of them, as now it's time for Brent Pry to take the reins, and his era begins next fall when the Hokies open the season at Old Dominion. For now, local at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, David DeGuzman, WFXR Sports. Thank you so much, David. Meanwhile, many fans in Blacksburg doubled down on how they thought the Hokies played today. And WFXR News' Kelsey John Batiste joins us now live from the Blacksburg Bureau with fan reaction. Kelsey. Jermaine, I'm not going to lie. Many fans that I spoke with today were really upset with the results of this game. One fan that I met up with at McAdoo says he declined to do an interview with me because he was just disappointed with the coaching and the plays. Mind you, he was an all hokey fan. Other people that I met with say, you know, they gave me their opinion. Well, I'm very excited. Always excited to be in a bowl game. Uh, earlier in the season, I didn't know that we'd be in a bowl game. Girl, I don't even know. This game is crazy. They're my Hokies. I don't even know what to say about them. <laughs> what were you hoping for this game? I was hoping the Hokies were going to wear them out. I mean, I don't understand. Maryland ain't got nothing, you know. There ain't no sense in it. Other fans say that it's time for the team to regroup and gear up to start their next season with the new head coach, Brent Pry. The overall message from today is that many fans want the back, like I said, regroup and come back stronger next year. Live and local in Blacksburg, Kelsey Jean Baptiste, WFXR News. Thank you so much, Kelsey. And again, David, great work as always. Now, Layered Sports will have much more from the Pinstripe Bowl. Again, the Hokies falling to the Terps today in the Big Apple, 54 to 10. Kathleen? All right, Jermaine, thanks.